Welcome all. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. Two NBA greats, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our analysts tonight. With our reporter, Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for the Los Angeles Lakers. On Thursday, they'll host the Oklahoma City Thunder. Then on Saturday, they'll be matching up with Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. We're just about ready for tip-off. But first, let's hear from the sideline. Allie, it's all yours. Hey, Brian. We've heard a lot of critique of some of the fouls that are called. Ask Warriors head coach Steve Kerr. He said, quote, We've gotten out of control, gifting offensive players the ability to jump three or four feet into a guy and draw a foul. It's not a basketball play. Give the defensive player some benefit of the doubt. Guys? All right, Alec, good stuff there. Makes a good point. And every year, Grant, the officials seem to emphasize a different rule. You think it takes long for players to adjust? You know, B.A., it depends on the rule and how strict they will call it. Things like the rip-through, hand-checking, those type of rules, they take some time to adjust. Now let's take a look at the Rockets' opening lineup. Tyson Wood playing together in the front court. Porter Jr. and Green team up in the back Here we court. go. And it's Tate in at the three, the small forward. And for Los Angeles, the big three for this team all out there. Westbrook the point, LeBron and AD sliding in at the forward spot. Kent Bazemore is out there with DeAndre Jordan. Now here's Jordan. James outside. Davis with a screen on Tate. Just five to shoot. Here's James. And the shot no good. A bit short. Outside. Green. Knocked loose. Pass to Porter. And here's Tate. Covered by Jordan. Tate against Jordan. Ooh, rejected by Jordan. Outside Davis. And here's Westbrook. Beyond the arc. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. And you see the team first mentality of Anthony Davis wanting to involve his teammates. Well, Anthony Davis helped rescuing the Lakers from some lean years. In the six seasons prior to his arrival, they'd missed the playoffs more times than in the previous 65 years of the franchise. And a year after they got him, they're hoisting the Larry O'Brien Trophy. And now with his new contract, he should help them compete for a long time to come. Now here's Porter. Last game for him, he picked up 13. Here's Woods. Count it. One for one to start the game. Very smooth finish with the finger roll. Westbrook against Porter. Westbrook, the pass to James. After missing his first LeBron attempt, James. now one for two. When he gets touches inside, LeBron is impossible to stop. Porter against Westbrook, pass to Tate. Wood, right side. And it's Jordan with the rebound. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. The Rockets have gone one of four to start. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Wood misses. The Lakers have gone two for five to start today's game. This one for three. And there's James on the assist by Davis. James has got five. Oh, a guy as big as LeBron can handle the ball. That well is a mystery. Porter finds Green. To the middle. And the basket by Tice. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. And here in the first, about three minutes in. Westbrook, the pass to James. Westbrook with a screen on tape. Here's James. Second chance effort. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. And the longevity of LeBron's greatness is unprecedented. The oldest starter in the league last season and still producing at an MVP level. At the line for the Lakers, LeBron James. And some changes here for the Lakers. 
Howard comes in for Jordan and Anthony subbed in for Anthony Davis. One shot. That free throw, good from James. And what's incredible for LeBron is not just how good he is at his age, but the mileage on his body, Graham. So true, B.A. I mean, just three players in NBA history have exceeded 60,000 minutes played, including the playoffs. That's Kareem, Carl Malone, and the one and only LeBron James. Now here's Gordon. 17 points in his last outing. Gordon against Anthony. James outside. Pass to Westbrook. Anthony in the post. Defended by Gordon. The Rockets trail. They set a pick. Now here's Green. The Lakers for the rebound. James has got four rebounds now. And here's Westbrook from the arc. The Rockets pull it in. The Lakers beat them last time when these two met in Los Angeles. And in their last game against this club, turnovers really were a problem for them. A combination of unforced errors and just poor decision making. They need to be much better in that aspect of the game this time around. The defense getting out hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Here's Bazemore. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. James passes to Howard. No luck on that one. And it's Houston the other way. A tough loss coming against the Lakers in their last game played. They failed to create enough good looks. The ball movement just wasn't quite where it needed to be. You know, they take one step forward, two steps back, and exercise and frustration. Here's Garuba, and here's Porter outside. Can't get his first shot of the game to fall. It's James on the wing. Green covering. After the outside. Westbrook outside. The Lakers with another miss. And a bump this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Gordon outside. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Pass to Shangun. Green for three. And Bazemore pulls it down. To the inside. Here's Anthony. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. Between the scoring and rebounding, an excellent... James, the unquestioned leader. But if you ask him, sometimes you gotta get into it with your teammates. Sometimes it just builds character. Um, it builds even more trust. You're able to get on someone, someone able to get on you, and then, you know, the whistle blown, just get out and let's execute what needs to be done. And playing at the highest levels, there can't be many slip-ups, Grant. Yeah, I mean, there's a job to be done. In the heat of competition, you can't be too sensitive. It's all about winning, B.A. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. Taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? They're just excellent first quarter defense. They've been really getting after them. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They've just been the better team so far. They've got DeAndre Jordan. Malik Monk is out there with Rajon Rondo. Then there's Anthony, and it's Davis in at the four spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Now here's Rondo. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Mello, down, down. Oh, oh, oh. 
On the wing, Davis. Outside, Rondo. There's a screen by Anthony. Clock at four. The shot that time, not on target. Now the Rockets take it the other way. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Here's Wood. Banked it in off the glass. Wood's got his second basket of the game. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Davis, a screen. Monk passes to Anthony. And here's Davis. Back to Anthony. From outside the arc. Guava pulls it in. So it's the Rockets now. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Here's Martin. And Davis with the block. All of AD's 7 6 wingspan coming into play allowed him to block it away. Here's Martin. Nice dish, this and the layup goes game. down. Davis An aggressive move to a strong finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Here's Rondo. The Rockets getting their last shot to go. Pass to Davis. And Davis slams it home. Obviously, Rondo's main priority is to dish the rock. When you're open, he'll get it to you. The Rockets have gone two of four here in the second quarter. Outside Nuaba is Christopher. Well, Grant, does it seem like teams are caring fewer specialists than they used to? You know, B.A., I actually think there's more specialists. I mean, think about it. You have certain players who can do everything, who are versatile, who can carry a team. But then you surround them and complement them with guys who can knock down open jump shots. So I actually think you have more specialists, a lot of them being shooters, who can space the floor for their ball club. Davis can't hit. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Here's Christopher. Well, quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Tate against Anthony. From 15 feet away, and it's blocked by Davis. Pass to Rondo. Out to Anthony. There's the triple. Good, and it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Anthony's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Had a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Lakers. They're doing a great job defensively down low. They've already racked up a lot of blocks. They've established an intimidation factor early in this one. The other thing that's been effective so far tonight is their fast break. A lot of points coming on the run. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Howard's checked in for Jordan. LeBron comes in for Anthony. Bradley, he's checked in for Monk. And it's Westbrook in for Rondo. Tice finds Green. Porter against Westbrook. The Rockets with another miss. Los Angeles has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. When speaking about LeBron James, Commissioner Adam Silver said he's certainly one of the league's hardest workers, which has as much to do with the success of his career as anything else. Also, off the court, it's incredible what he's done. He is a marvel in so That's many ways, but it all comes back to his focus and his dedication. Thanks, Allie. That's the line for two. Shooting two. And he makes a first. On top of being a great player, AD's a great teammate. Even forcing his way out of New Orleans, he was honest about what he wanted, didn't complain along the way, and hasn't complained since. Both free throws good from Davis. Here's Gordon. 
Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Green with a screen on James. Here's Gordon. He drains out one after two misses. Now one for three. And there's a minute 45 left in the second period. James outside. Pass to Davis. And he banks in the layup. Davis has got six points in the quarter. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. The Rockets have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Gordon on the take. James with the block. Merciless swipe by LeBron. There are no easy looks when King James is on you. Well, we've seen Avery Bradley play for years. Always a factor on the defensive end, despite being undersized at the wing position. And with Bradley at 6'3", he's usually asked to guard any and everyone on the perimeter. You know, he's still considered a lockdown defender. Has great length and reach, which makes up for his height. He can also bother shooters and hound the ball handlers. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. He hits the second from the line. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. James against Gordon. Porter, the pass to Green. Back to Porter. Jacks up a three. And the three-pointer goes. Porter's got his first three points of the game. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. The Lakers in the lead. Pass to Davis. There's 49 seconds left in the second. Here's Westbrook. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Westbrook's got his second basket of the night. Oh, unlimited energy. That's what Westbrook brings. No problems bouncing off contact. Eric Gordon. That's his first personal foul. And Russell Westbrook Third on the move once foul. again. This time to the Lakers. Now, that's interesting. I mean, he LeBron played so James. long for the OKC Thunder. And shots. now on his fourth team in the past four years. But still, you can't deny the impact when he's Shoot on the two. floor. And he can't get the first one. Well, it's been eight years since LeBron won his fourth MVP trophy. A player who's regarded as the best of his generation. Hard to argue he shouldn't have more. And no good on the second free throw. So 0 for 2 there. You love what LeBron James brings on the court, off the court, in the community. His contributions are always front and center. Now here's Gordon. Right wing. Tice finds Gordon. Down to five on the shot clock. Over James. Gordon can't hit. I don't know if you can credit the defense for that. It was just a missed opportunity. Pass to James. And so it's Los Angeles leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Appearing in control, but could still use a little more of a push to feel totally comfortable in this one. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And thank you for joining us as with two quarters in the book, looking good for the Los Angeles Lakers.
I like what they've done on the glass. Boxing out, reacting quickly, playing with an aggressive attitude. They set a physical tone, but now everyone gets a chance to recalibrate. We'll see if this rebounding dominance can extend into the second half. And let's take a look at the standings as the Western Conference starts to come into focus. You look at Los Angeles, they started this season on the right foot, something we kind of expected given their offseason. We'll see if this is a pace they can maintain as the year rolls on. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You gotta like what we're seeing from LeBron James. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. This is his challenge, to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. So the Houston Five right now. Tate and Tice holding down the forward spots. Porter Jr. and Green team up in the backcourt. And it's Wood in at the five. And stolen by Bazemore. Down low. It's tipped. Porter with it. Outside, Green. Clock at six. And yep, it's good. Jaylen Probably Green. a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Now here's Davis. Six points for him. Here's Westbrook. The shot off that time. Great D that time for Porter. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. And Davis with the block. Jordan with a screen on Green. Here's Bazemore. Ooh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Christian Wood picks one up. Bazemore has dramatically improved at the line since he came into the lead. A big plus for his team. Kent Bazemore. Two shots. That free throw misses. You know, he was undrafted out of Old Dominion. Ken Bazemore has come a long way. Didn't get much run his first few years in the league, but now he's an impact player. And he's good on the second. The Rockets trail. Outside Porter. Wood outside. Over Jordan. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Davis against Tate. Davis down low. He has six. Uses the glass on the layup. Inside, Anthony Davis is such a hard worker. He won't let anything hold him back from his shot. Stolen by Davis. James, outside. Pass to Bazemore. Here's Davis. Again, the Lakers score. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. The Rockets have gone just one of three in the second half. Wood, right side. Out to the wing. Tice finds Porter. 
Oh, Westbrook for the block. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Westbrook. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Some changes now for the Lakers. Anthony's checked in for Anthony Davis. And it's Monk in for James. And the Rockets making a change here as well. Martin's checked in. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Tries yet again. Tate. No luck. They battled on the glass, but they couldn't knock it down. Pass to Bazemore. Anthony with it. Over green. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Left side, Porter. Westbrook against Green. Shoots over Westbrook. The Rockets with another miss. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding. To the paint. From seven feet away, that one drops for him. Bay and now it's Moore. an 11-point Laker lead. The strength that Bazemore's added coming into play. Nice finish against physical D. Porter, the pass to Green. Here he goes. Just five on the clock. From deep three-point range. And they'll turn it over. Couldn't get the shot off. A shot clock violation. Looking at the 2K leaderboard. Here were the NBA's top dime droppers last year. Russell Westbrook on top. It was a virtuoso performance. They ran the offense through him time and time again. No one near him. Two minutes remaining. Wood grabs the board. Two minutes. Wood's got five rebounds in the game. Pass to Porter. A minute 50 left in the third. Now here's Green. Monk covers. And there's Green on the assist by Porter. That's good planning and that's good execution. And that's a great look. A minute 39 left in the third quarter here. Now a timeout, timeout called timeout. by the Lakers. Timeout. The loudest and craziest fans get a free t-shirt. Let's hear it, fans. Fans, your Laker girl. And some changes here for the Lakers. Howard's checked in for Jordan. Bradley comes in for Bazemore. And it's Rondo in for Russell Westbrook. On defense, the Rockets. They trail by nine. Back to Bradley. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Hard-nosed guy. Avery plays with no fear. Nice job of drawing contact. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Lakers? Contested shots and block shots. That's been their bread and butter defensively, giving up no easy looks. I'll tell you something else. The points they've scored on the fast break tonight have been a major factor. He gets them both. Here you have the consummate pro. Rare to see Avery Bradley complain or give anything less than 100%. Gordon with it. And Anthony picks him up defensively. Gordon can't hit. The Lakers have gone three of seven here in this third quarter. To the right side. We've got 108 left in the third. Here's Anthony. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, Carmelo Anthony. Two shots.
And he knocks down the first one. In the second half, their free throw percentage has improved, hitting in the low 80s now. And Anthony drops them both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Here's Shangun. Pass to Martin. Here's Christopher. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Knocks down the triple. Oh, nice feed. On time and on target. Los Angeles has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Anthony in the post. He's against Martin. That one no good. He really can't buy a bucket, but his teammates have his back. Shot is good by Gordon. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. The Lakers in the lead. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Outside, Rondo. Bradley sets a screen. Four on the clock. Here's Anthony. And again, no good by the Lakers. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. Their play has earned them a nice lead, one they'll look to build on as the game continues. More 2K action in just a moment. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. This is what you need your floor general to do. Take charge, lead by example, unselfish play. Come on, fans. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. The big three for this team all out there. Westbrook the point. LeBron and AD sliding in at the forward spots. Dwight Howard out there with Kent Bazemore. That's the Laker five. Now here is James. Pass to Davis. Up and over Porter. And Davis with the basket. All the assist by James. This is the danger Davis possesses to defenses. Capable of erupting at any moment. Gordon with it. And Howard picks him up defensively. Ooh, Howard with a block. Inside. Oh, deflected. And stolen by Wood. Gordon on the wing. Up top, Porter. And finished off by Tice. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. And the Lakers with possession here. Following the score by Houston. James against Tate. Basket's good. And the Lakers lead by 10. The raw power of James excels at taking on physical defense and finishing. And so it's Houston with it. Gordon outside. Porter against Howard. Wood passes to Gordon. Six on the shot clock. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got six rebounds here tonight. He's been just a little off the mark tonight. Really the story of the game so far. James, that's good. It doesn't take much for LeBron to get going, which is what makes him so intimidating. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Gordon on the take. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Hey, you can't block it. Sending him to the line can be the next best thing. 
at the line for the Rockets, Eric Gordon, taking two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. Jordan's checked in for the Lakers. Second free throw is good, and some have said the pandemic increased the league's interest in a potential expansion. Grant, is that something you'd like to see? You know, I wouldn't mind that at all. I mean, it just speaks to the league continuing to be popular and continuing to grow throughout the world. So we all know there'd be a hefty expansion fee, but there's some great markets out there that love the game of basketball and would really embrace the team. You know, one city that comes to mind, Seattle. So maybe it'll happen. I'm hoping it does. Now, here is James. He's got it. Six of ten now. And if you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Now Gordon. Pass to Wood. Tice, right side. Shot clock at six. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Green's checked in for Gordon. Rockets substitution. Jalen Green. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. Wood, a screen on Westbrook. Here's Porter. Tice outside. Shot clock at five. Puts it up from 15. The Rockets again can't hit. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. The jump hook. And finished and off by Davis. Davis. The team relies on Davis for this. Keeping the play alive and finishing at the rim. Westbrook against Porter. Wood outside. Tice outside. Down low. Wood inside. Covered by Jordan. Wood misses. The Lakers have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Pass to Bazemore. Back to James. Drives to the hoop. Good! Now seven for 11 on the night. What a sudden drive by LeBron. The defense doesn't get any chance to react. Oh, they get a hand on it. It's stolen by James. Davis, a screen. And he's going for the lob! Hammers the lob through. It really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Anthony Davis. And it's simple. I mean, when you shoot it like he has, this award is a lock. I mean, up over 60% from the field, that's crazy good. He's given them just about everything he's had today. Boy, you can see the amazing relationship he's built with the hometown fans, and it motivates him to always give them his very best. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the Lakers. Well, I have to comment on their strong performance tonight at the charity strike. And it might have won them the game. The ability to draw fouls and capitalize can be a real difference maker. 
And it's a performance that will signify their fifth win of the year. But they've got two more chances to get some revenge. The matchup doesn't favor them, but against a conference opponent, they're going to battle hard. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Anthony Davis. Boy, such a big factor in the game tonight. His intensity on the boards. Even when guys put a body on him, he somehow still beats him to the ball. The first free throw is good. With efforts to grow the game in Europe and Asia and Africa, really everywhere from the NBA. Grant, how do you see the future of this game? Well, I think it lies in the young international stars. I mean, you see guys like Luka and Nikola Jokic from Europe and Joel Embiid from Africa. I think we'll see more and more of that as the league and the popularity of basketball grows overseas. I mean, those guys will have the drive and the examples to succeed overseas. The Lakers have gotten seven of their first ten shots to go during this fourth quarter. Pass to Rondo. To the inside. Ball stolen. Now here's Porter. Checked by Rondo. Fires from deep. Porter shot is off. On offense, here are the Lakers. They're on a 14-5 run. Jordan with a screen on Porter. Here's Rondo. Jordan inside. Porter's there. And that one drops for him. <laughs> this has to feel good. They gave their fans a show and secured the W. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. Porter shot is off. Here's Bradley. Green covering. Here's Bradley. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. Once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you next time.